So if you've watched the rest of this series, you probably already realized that you're not alone in your house. But what if you're like, hey, I have an immaculately clean house. I clean, I disinfect, I scrub, and I don't see any bugs. Well, if that's you, I'm here to tell you that you have an invisible diversity of arthropods and microbes living with you every day. But don't fret, because these are good things to have in your house. The bugs of your home. The bugs of your house. Now, I'm part of a global study to research bugs in homes. Our houses, our bodies, are actually relatively unexplored ecosystems. We just want to get this global perspective of the types of species that live in houses. I followed Michelle and Misha to San Francisco, the Peruvian Amazon, and now we're here in Sweden. So today, uh, Jonas is going to be our tour guide. Tour guide, <laughs> This is Turkish pepper. Enjoyment? Okay. Whoa! <laughs> they are terrible candies. While we're here to study arthropods, well, the study wouldn't be complete without learning first about Sweden. And who better to show it than my partner in crime, Jonas, who was born and raised right here. The islands and the shoreline here is very rocky. You have these little islands that people live on all year round. The O with two dots is Ö. Uh. Yeah, yeah, like uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, those are hard words <laughs> to start with. Ura means island. It's just that letter. Really? Yeah. Oh, with two dots over it. That means island. It's the last letter of the alphabet, but it also means island. It looks like a little Bjorka. island. Bjorka. Bjorka. Important words to know since our first homes are right here on the island of birch trees. Bjorka. And like the other countries, we're picking six homes, all with different styles, but all uniquely Swedish. I think it'll be really fun to introduce some of these people whose houses we're going to, to the invisible diversity that's all around them. And I'm kind of curious what they're going to say. People here in Sweden do seem pretty aware of the bugs they see in their homes. They live there and they have the place there and they uh, are very cute. I think they are cute. But besides the critters that we actually see crawling around or dead on windowsills, here are three things that you may never know you're living with. First, our homes are full of dust mites. Dust mites. So mites are the most ecologically diverse group of arthropods. Though there are over 50,000 described species, there are likely more than a million, most undiscovered. There is a lot in every home, and it's natural, but we have it in, in the carpet, in the, probably in the pillows. In the beds. In the beds. That's <laughs> they feed on, on old skin particles. So a lot of what dust is, is dead human skin cells. That they're free living mites, despite coming from a parasitic lineage. We're hoping to have a a lot of dust mites in this little mesh bag right now. I'm gonna close it up so they don't yeah. escape. Oh, <laughs> nice catch. <laughs> I'm sure there's some in here. We don't have that many carpets. I'm allergic to mite. I know that they are all around me all the time <laughs> and they sleep in my bed and they uh, eat my, my dead parts and they poo all over the place. Have you seen a dust mite under a microscope? No. Oh. It's <laughs> really cool, but I mean... Maybe it's a new world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're, I mean, they're, they're just, they're so bizarre looking and knowing that they're everywhere just blows my mind. Second, microbes are literally everywhere. Microbiologists estimate that there are hundreds of millions of species, the majority of which we know nothing about. Swiping for microbes. <laughs> Every home has them, um, but you can't see them. And get this, over 50% of the cells in and on your body are foreign. They're microbes. A recent study of over a thousand houses found that TV screens had more diversity than toilet seats. And toilet seat microbes were actually most similar to pillowcase microbes. How crazy is that? Finally, there's almost a 100% chance you have lice. Book lice are tiny insects that almost certainly live in your house. We find book lice in nearly every house we sample, and so far it seems like they're much more prevalent than we even expected. Got a book blouse, it's a singular one, so... They feed on the glue that holds a book together. And to understand book lice, you need to realize that they are ancient nest dwellers. They have their evolutionary origins in the nests of birds and other mammals. And now they're specially well adapted to live in our homes, in our modern human nests. Book lice are super tiny. They're usually running across the ground. It's thrilling to find them, even though you know that they're everywhere, because it's like almost like a Where's Waldo in a, in a house. They're not good jumpers, which is fortunate because they're already so difficult to find it would be awful if it was easy for them to get away but once I see one it's it's mine so just remember we're not alone in our houses not only are they full of relatively large arthropods but teeny tiny microbes and little critters barely visible to the human eye 
No need to worry, though. This invisible diversity is just one part of the diversity we live with that makes our world so amazingly interesting. The bugs of your home. You might have been bitten by one of the most venomous spiders on the planet. I'm Anna Rothschild. 